Hi, welcome. This is Garande. I make videos about programming concepts and in today's video we are looking at how to authenticate users to our application using Google sign-in and Firebase phone or SMS verification. In case this is your first time in watching our channel, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications. So, let's get started. So before getting started, I've created the sign-in UI screen, which includes the phone entry views, the phone verify view, and the complete auth view. The, the link to this data code will be included in the GitHub link in the description of this video. Now for that for that regard, let me take you through very fast. Uh, we have uh, we have the views, whereby you have the sign-in. In under views, we have the sign-in. Within sign-in, we have the sign-in screen, which is housing three three screens which is the phone auth view verify auth view verify phone auth view and complete auth view okay okay within the phone auth view it looks like this the phone auth view looks like this and uh, this is where we are able to put in the phone number uh, select the country code okay We're using the country code picker library and then now uh, we have the verify otp part whereby we enter the otp and we send the code to the user and we send the code to the user so okay lastly we have the user profile update screen which uh, which will let the user update his profile and uh, make uh, and so that he can be able to update his ch the changes of his profile based on the information and so that he can be pushed to the database okay so all that uh, all that is uh, is in this code which is which is provided here the phone auth view and verify phone auth and complete auth phone auth okay also before you continue you have to make sure that you have the necessary dependencies which are required for this for this authentication process to happen so uh, those dependencies may include the android specific dependencies and the ios specific dependencies and now for android you have to make sure that you, you have uh, you have added the within your build to gradle file gradle file which is under the app dependencies uh app, app folder you must make sure that you have the google play services auth dependencies since you are going to do google sign in and also you you must have the browser uh dependency this is for the browser dependency this is mainly used for device verification during uh, the phone authentication, Firebase is required to verify where these requests are coming from, or the origin of these requests. And uh, to verify the the origin of these requests, Firebase has two methods that it can that uses to verify the this origin. One is using the safety net method, and the other is using the recapture verification method. Now, the safety net method uh, works in a way that uh, Firebase will have to to make sure that uh, the, this device. That you're using it belongs to you and uh, the owner of this project had activated the, the android device check api within the google cloud console and okay that that is number one and also had they inserted the sha256 uh, sha256 uh, fingerprint within the cloud console now the other method is using the recapture verification of, or whereby the in the in, recapture verification will work in that in the event where a softnet cannot be used uh firebase uh firebase will use the recapture to verify the origin of this request and that's uh, that's the reason why we include the browser dependency so so that we can give firebase access to the browser of the of the app the the browser of the of the android device so that it can verify now also another thing since we are using the emulator uh, uh there are tendencies where the way of device uh verification gets hard since we are using the emulator and for that case uh, the browser dependency works so much so you have to include the browser dependency for so for that recapture verification to happen so have to make sure that uh, you have uh, the following dependencies you have the google signing dependency google sign-in dependency 
you must make sure that you have the Firebase Auth dependency within uh, within your dependencies, and the other ones are the Firebase uh, Firebase Cloud Firestore and Firebase the Database. Those ones are must since you are going to save our user our user information to the database. Okay, so lastly, we have to activate the sign-in methods within uh, the Google Cloud within the Firebase Cloud Console. So we, we shall come to our Firebase Console that is Bookmate, and we shall come under Authentication. So we shall click on the methods that we want to use. That is uh, phone, and uh, within phone we shall enable it. We shall put in the numbers for testing. Okay, for this case I will use plus two five six. That was seven nine five five three three six six. That's not my number, but I'm just uh, I just made it up for testing purposes. Uh, this is a one two three four five six. Add. It has been added. Okay, I think uh, the method is is disabled, so we shall re, re, re enable it. Okay, and save. And I'll, another one shall add in the go the Google the Google sign in that is uh, we shall click on Google enable it okay after enabling Google we shall come under under the project settings okay uh, project settings and uh, the okay the, the name will be bookmate I think we can just leave it the way it is and support email will be that so that is uh, that is all and uh, we can now save. Oh, we can save this. I think there is nothing to save already. Okay, we can now leave it. So that's it. So next, what we what we need to do, we need to come to our sign in, our sign in screen, uh, our sign in, and uh, what we are going to do, we are going to begin by creating the qubits which are responsible for this authentication process or the sign in process, and now we are going to create a folder called qubits. Qubit. And within here, we're going to create the sign in state. With that. Also, we shall create. A, we shall create sign in. A qubit. The dot. Uh, within the sign in qubit, we shall say sign in qubit is. A part. It has a part of sign in state. And let's say now we can come back to sign in state. We whereby we have the sign in state is part of sign in qubit. The dot. Next, we need to create the sign in state itself. We shall have class sign in state, which is which extends equitable. Okay, which extends equitable. Okay, as that happens, I think I need to start here my emulator. Okay, and we shall we shall import this. One, what we are going to have within here, we shall first override uh, the props. Then now uh, we shall uh, we shall have the following. We shall have uh, the, I think one we shall have the status of the user. So we shall have uh, final. I think the status we shall create an enum for it. That is a uh, enum sign in status sign. And for this we shall have uh, one. The initial status, the auth in progress. Excel, we shall have uh, the Google signed in, Google authenticated. 
Well, we shall have maybe one for the OTP sent. We shall have for the pending verification. I think it is okay. We can call it pending OTP verification. We shall have the OTP verification success. We shall have the OTP verification failure. We shall have uh, the exception itself. In case of an exception, we shall have the authenticated. Authenticated. We shall have the unauthenticated. We shall have, I think, uh, I think, profile. Profile update. Uh, profile update in progress. In progress. We shall have profile update complete. Okay, those are the states. So we shall have a final of uh, sign in status. Status. And this is we shall just call it status. We shall also have uh, the error itself, which is a string, final, uh, string, error. Okay, this one can be null. We shall have the string. We also need to have the phone number of the user, which is also a string, phone number, the country code. I think uh, instead of the country code, we shall have the country itself for the object. We need to have uh, the verification ID, the that one which is sent by Firebase or on, on OTP sent. We need to have, I um, think that, we also need to have the int, that is uh, uh, the force, uh, the force recent, force recent token. This token is on which we are going to use uh, to in case to we need to re attempt resending the code. Uh, we shall have uh, we shall have final the user the user who is uh, the the user from Firebase that is, will be the Google user on on signing into Google or we shall have to catch that user. Okay, I think uh, this is true. We need to import this, that is uh, from Firebase Auth. We shall need to have uh, the final, the user object of the system, that is the app user. Uh, that is app user still. We need to import it as well. We need to have the country object, final. Country. Now the country object is on which is going to be having uh, the the user or the the, can, the selected country code and the flag itself. Let's see. We don't have it, so we need to create this under models. So we shall come under our models. We shall come here under models and we shall create the country model. Country model dot that, so that is class country. And we shall have uh, the following string, which is probably null. One we shall have the dial code. We shall have uh, the code itself, which is in string code string. Or just code. We shall have uh, the country, the name itself. And the flag. That's all. Can create the constructor for it. Factory. That's it. That's it. We just need to have it that way. Then now uh, we can import them. We can import it here. 
and now we can finally create the constructor for this now the status here the in case of anything we shall have uh, okay the status for now can be null can also be i can be null label one we also need to update uh, the state in case of anything so we shall need to create the sign in state well with the method copy with which we shall use to update our state copy with and in here we shall just uh, get uh, these very ones these very methods or these very, very uh, properties the variables themselves and we pass them so we shall remove the final keywords and we need to remove this end okay so we are now ready to return it so we shall return sign in state is sign in state sign in state with the, these very variables the properties we shall copy this and in case they are not null in case the proper the properties which come are not null we shall just pass them there directly and in case they are null in case they are not null we shall just pass them directly and in case they are null we shall retain our previous state our previous properties okay like that and that's it that's all what we need to have within our sign in state uh we can get the props and also pass them as well you can come and pass them here Remove the this keyword. And there we are. Lastly, you can make this a constant. So what we are going to do next, what you are going to do next, we, are, we shall come to our sign in qubit and uh, we create the qubit. Now what you have to know that a qubit, uh, the difference between a qubit and a block, uh, the difference is just more like the same only just there is one major difference a qubit is used to handle simple state management uh, where we may have maybe some simple events let me say like one event while a, a block is used to handle complex co complex uh, logic whereby we may have many many events that needs to be mapped to the state that needs to be handled so that's when we come to use the, a, a block maybe to handle the global state of our application while the qubit is for handling simple states maybe for specific screens so let's create the qubit to be class sign in qubit extend our qubit with a sign in state We shall override or we shall bring the con the constructor and initially we are going to give it a simple state whereby it will be sign in state with the status initial okay and in here we are just going to put one simple simple function or simple method that is uh, sign in with google sign in Void sign in with Google. Okay. Now sign in with Google shall bring the authentication provider. That is fine. Huh? Uh, 
authentication uh, repository okay so first of all emit the state which is emit state and we shall change the status emit state and that is copy with we shall change the status to uh, authentic authentication in progress that is sign in state status that auth in progress so here we are now going to say user we are going to wait for a user from the authentication that is a user is going to be authentication repository dot sign in with google and since this may be a future we are going to await it add a sync and create the method within the authentication repository so now we can we, after here we can now maybe check if the user is not equal to null if user okay for for this we can just wrap it within uh, a try and catch block so that we can try and we can catch an error And we shall say in case of an error we are just going to emit an exception we shall meet exception status exception and uh, error will be e dot to string okay and the google user for this case will be null so what you are going to do you are going to say if user is not equal to null here we, sh we shall have to emit a state over by to be google authenticated okay so here we shall say uh, state status google authenticated and google user will be the user who has come from from the authentication Now what you can do, you can now go into the authentication repository and you create this function. So here we are going to say, this is a future of user who may be null. And we are going to say, authentication provider dot sign in with Google. Shall create the method go and create it again future user import the firebase user okay so we can now go under the authentication provider and override uh, the function that was created in the interface so we can create it there before doing anything what you're going to do we are going to come to we are going to come to our okay up here we shall initialize the uh, google sign in that is final google sign in sign in we shall say google sign in is equal to Google sign in. Okay. Next, so here, what we are going to do, we are now going to say final Google account, go sign in account. Account will be equal to. We shall await uh, the. We shall await the Google sign in. Dot sign in. 
and this is uh, no sync so we we'll bring in we have to change this way to be nullable okay yeah that's it afterwards we shall create the authentication from this that is final google sign in authentication having got the google the account shall create the authentication so this is google sign in authentication authentication will be equal to await account dot uh, authentication okay and that one will happen if this account is not equal to null so we shall say if account is not equal to null just when you go for it Okay, so now we need to create uh, an authentication uh, an auth credential from this. So what we are going to do, we are going to say final final auth credential credential will be equal to Google uh, auth provider dot credential. And for this, we are going to pass the token ID token. ID token, we are going to use the authentication dot ID token. We are going also to pass access token, whereby it will be authentication dot access token. Afterwards, now we can know, we can now authenticate with uh, with Google. We can sign in with the Google Google credentials. Okay, we can sign in with credentials. So what we are going to say, we are going to uh, we are going to just go to have uh, we are just going to return return Firebase or Firebase auth. It's uh, Firebase auth. dot sign in with credential and that's it let's see it returns uh, user credential okay uh, dot dot then okay here we are going to return the user dot then value dot user that is what you are going to return so that's it. That's how we can authenticate with Google. And now we can go back to here and we save. After having that, now we can go back to our UI. That is a sign-in screen. And uh, we are going to wrap this with the block provider. And now we shall say block provider. Okay, we shall wrap with the, with the provider. And now this pro provider shall say uh, block okay create it will be it will be the sign in qubit okay next we need to wrap uh, within uh, our scaffold we before the tab view we shall wrap it with the block builder Shall wrap it with the builder. So this is will be block builder. Now the block builder will be of sign in qubit with the sign in state. And this will how we'll be expecting state. Sorry, this is a 
uh, sorry this is block listener not a builder block listener okay and this is a listener so this is this one will come will come under child okay so within here we are now going to listen to these states so yes we shall say if state dot status is equal to sign in status status dot auth in progress what you are going to do we are just going to bring snap button down scaffold manager okay scaffold messenger dot of context dot can hide any hide any current snapper and show one so So here we shall say snap bar uh, with context that okay content we, sh we shall give it for children so alignment main axis alignment we shall give it uh, main axis the space between and in here we shall bring our uh, text this uh, for this text we shall just say authentication or authenticating And also on the other hand, we shall have a, we shall have a circular progress bar, circular progress indicator. So we can just have it that way. Okay. Next, also we are we shall have to listen if for the state. We shall just copy this very one and say shall say if status is equal to Google authenticated here now we shall say Google authenticated and now for this we can just show an arrow an icon is icon icon dot uh, check icons the check this is check okay so lastly we need to have for for the error in case there is an error that is the exception exception so this is going to be here we are going to pass the exception itself that is a state dot error okay and in case we don't find it we shall just say authentication error and now for this case this is going to be dot uh, error So we can give this a background or uh, the snack bar, a background of uh, red, background color. This one can be colors dot red. Okay. Now for this uh, or success, we can now give it a background color. 
background color of uh, green colors dot green so now that's what we can do so what we are going to do we are now going to dispatch this event on on uh, on continue button that's where we are, we are going to dispatch it and we shall come to phone auth view okay just on the button itself that is uh, on this button on top so on top Here we now we are going to say block provider dot of context or what we can just say we can say context dot read okay so this is a sign in qubit And the getter read isn't defined for build context ddd okay so okay for now we can just maybe avoid it but uh, you can also use that as a method because at this point it will be there okay so it is uh, context.read okay actually like that dot uh, sign in with google so And that's all what we need to have. Okay. So let's test it. Let her run. Okay, so now we are going to click on uh, on the continue button. Click continue. Did I click? Let me see. Continue. Okay, so now authenticating. You can now wait for it to authenticate. Sign in. Okay, continue bookmark. Now you can choose Garande. There we go. Google authenticated. So that's it. That's uh, how Google authentication works. So in next video, we shall see how to bring the for how to do phone authentication and how to bring them together. So see you then.